Good job, dude. Yeah, baby. Good job, Joey. Nice, baby. Come on. Yeah, dude. Nice. Good job. Nice, man. Good. Good. Nice, man. Good. Good. All right, so we're on third round of the last round of Joey's first day in here. Really, really hitting him hard right now. Struggling, struggling bad. Uh, you can tell just a lot of inactivity over a long period of time, really, really catching up to him. But I just had him sit down in front of a fan, chill out for a little while. I told him, I don't care how long this workout takes, we're gonna get it done. Come over there and sat down just for probably a one minute he got back up, he's about to finish his last round. He's always talking about how weak he feels, but he's, I'm telling you, he's gonna keep doing this every day, and he's gonna get better. Nice, dude, last one, last one. Nice, man, good. Ten sit-ups, that's it, baby, that's it. Here we go. Nice, dude, good. Good, Joe. Come on. Here we go. Nine. One more, Joe. This is it. Nice time. Had a baby. 1802. Good job, dude. I'm going to finish that thing. Are you really going? Uh, yeah, I started today. That's true. I haven't, I haven't been back. <laughs> you little freak club, huh? That's that's it, buddy. I just I, I went one time and hadn't been back. So, because uh, I gotta have I gotta have somebody on my behind. You know what I mean? Hey man, I tell you, I, that's why I go. I only go twice a week, maybe three if I can make it. But I like just having somebody coaching me a little bit. Man, I gotta have it because I got I've got. I got no willpower and no self-discipline. Good, Joey. Good, man. A little bit, a little bit lower. Nice, good, buddy. Nice, good. Come on, buddy. Yeah, one more. Good depth, man. Get on down there. Nice, good job. All right, so we're here at Joey's house, and he's about to walk me through all of the medications that he has to take now. Well, uh, when I take them, like I'm supposed to anyway, this is, uh, this is metformin. Uh, this is kind of a diabetic medication. Uh, I take two in the morning. That's a thousand milligrams in the morning. And then I'm supposed to take one in the evening with dinner, sometimes I forget that one. Uh, so in addition to eating horribly and, and just not taking care of myself, I'm also not taking my meds like I'm supposed to. So, uh, yep, I'm supposed to take three of those every day. Um, got lisinopril here that's a, a um, Lisinopril and Torvastatin, those are both cholesterol medicines for high cholesterol, high triglycerides from eating too much fried food, which is my... Are these every day? Every day. All this is every day. And phenofibrate, which is um, blood pressure medication. I think. I hope I didn't get any of those mixed up. But uh, This is uh, another diabetic medication, an injectable that I take once a week. Uh, called true uh, trulicity. Okay, so this is uh, this is trulicity. It is a dulaglutide. No, excuse me, dulaglutide injection. This is a shot uh, that I take once a week when I'm taking it like I'm supposed to. And so this is this is how it works.
Just like that. Just like that, but it sucks. What's the uh, what's the pain level on that? Well, no shot's fun, but it's minor. It's not that bad. It just stinks having to do it. So you do this how often? Once a week. Once a week. Do you have a certain day that you have to do it on? Yeah, Thursday. Every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right. Yep. Um, to help with my blood sugar regulate, I take a pack of these every day which is just like a supplement pack for folks with diabetes got some things on there to help uh, kind of regulate the blood sugar different vitamins or whatnot so. so between the four bottles how many pills are you taking every day three four five six Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 different pills, all prescribed by a doctor? Well, this is this is not prescribed, but, uh, but, but definitely, uh, definitely six pills prescribed by a doctor. And how long have you had to take these? Uh, I got diagnosed in uh, 2011. 2000, either 2011 or 2012, so four or five years I've, I've had this. And roughly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, how much of these cost you? Uh, well, the insurance covers a big part of it, but uh, a three month supply. In other words, all, all four of these prescriptions uh, for three months is $125. And this is $25 a month. For four of these pens because I do it once a week and this is this this is is thanks to years of just horrible eating habits I mean I'm not as you know people think di diabetics are people with sweet tooths I don't really eat a lot of sweets but if it's fried deep fried like french fries or, or gosh like my crack right uh, fried chicken fingers just I just like fried, I like I like anything that's not good for you pretty much yeah and so that's, that's just years of doing that with no regard for what it's doing to my body starting college because believe it or not I went to college at a lean mean 165 pounds yeah. and I'm uh, gosh put on about 90 pounds since college yeah yeah so between these pills, $125 for a three month supply. So that's $500 a year that you're paying for, for this. And then this was $25 a month. A month, every and that's, month. yeah, and that's uh, with a huge discount. So that's, uh, what's that, $300, right? Am I math right on that? Uh, let's see, yeah, right? I think. Okay, so, <laughs> we're, horrible, so, right? so we're gonna say $800 a year is being spent on medications that uh, were preventable, right? All but, now, this is. but now we're uh, correcting it. So we're sitting here on Thursday night. Uh, Joey started Sunday at the gym. So he came to the gym Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. He done some DDP yoga at his house, came to the gym on Wednesday, and then tonight done some DDP yoga at his house as well. So five days in a row Joey's now done some some kind of form of exercise some kind of activity and so how's it been going so far well I'm, I'm not gonna lie it was rough starting I mean I hurt everywhere every inch hurt um, but it's Thursday now and I man I guess the, the soreness uh, the lactic acid I guess is mm -hmm. built up is is working its way out and I I don't feel near sore at all today so I'm looking I'm actually looking forward to coming to the gym tomorrow all right so he's good work in so he's planning on still coming to the gym tomorrow so that I mean that would already make six days in a row which was the last time you could think of that you've done <laughs> something six days in a row probably the day before never <laughs> so uh, so we're already making a lot of big progress uh, Joey we're, we're gonna say his way in his first the first day he started with us at the gym, Sunday, he weighed 250 pounds. Uh, yesterday he had to go get a physical 
and you weighed 242 pounds. So, we're, so we've already dropped eight pounds, basically just by, I mean, he has been kind of watching what he's eating. Uh, he, he's not really on a strict nutrition plan yet. We, we're just kind of seeing kind of what his body's used to taking in every day and then we'll uh, go from there. So he's just been kind of trying to make smarter choices with everything he's eating. And uh, but the biggest thing is, is he's just been doing a lot of activity every day and he's already dropped eight pounds. So um, we're really hoping that, you know, seeing those drastic immediate changes this early are gonna keep him pumped up and motivated because he's, you know, as he said in his blog, he, I mean, he's definitely tried different things before, but his, his, you know, his weakness, like a lot of people is, They'll start and then, you know, kind of lose interest. They'll miss a day and then that day turns into two days, three days, and, you know, it just kind of goes from there. And, um, you know, you, that's. That's the story. That's the story of my, yeah. my life as far as health and fitness goes. When it gets hard, I, I, I want to quit. When it, when I try to deprive myself of things, uh, then, then it makes me just want things that much more. I mean, I'm telling you, I liken addiction to food to addiction to any other kind of drug. You know, people tell you, well, just don't eat that. Well, that, that's fine, but you can't tell someone who's addicted to meth to just don't smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah. a mental, more of a mental thing than it is anything else. And, and uh, it's, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to do. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, he is, he is uh, definitely already making strides. I've got him trying to track down everything he's eating right now. That's that's really the hardest part of like I think so far for him is trying to re, you know remember to write down everything he's eating and trying to weigh it out and you know the little things like that. But um, if that's the hardest part, then that's that's going to be good because I think uh, getting him to the gym every day, making sure he's still you know staying active and doing stuff every day is going to be you know that's what I would think would be the harder part. So as long as that seems like that's easier. Um, I think we're definitely going on the right track. The biggest obstacle I think that we have to face now is getting back to a steady work schedule, which we're both teachers. Um, he's actually my boss at the school, so this is so uh, this is nice doing it this way. But um, we're you know we're about to start back work everybody next week. So whenever that hits and knowing how the beginning of the school year is, especially for you know a principal, um, you know. It, it gets very, you know, hectic, especially right there at the beginning of the year. So um, that's going to be the hardest part, seeing if he can find the time to still make sure he's staying on his, uh, you know, his activity level and uh, and on top of his nutrition game as well. So, um, but I think so far for the first week, you know, we've already seen a lot of big progress, a lot more than I already thought that we've seen in the first week. So I think everything's going good. Um, Got a lot of positive comments and feedback so far on Facebook and everything. I think that's really helping. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to do my best to keep on posting stuff, and you know, you know, we're you know, we're going to try to make this as real and as raw as possible. And um, you know, we're going to try to track down everything through videos, photos, blogs, everything like that to try to see this, you know, this journey because. It's going to take us a while to get where that we want to go, but you know we're going to try to just keep tracking every couple of days, doing little videos and updates like this. So, um, anything else, Joey? Just stay on me. Yeah, just uh, you know, if you see him or if you uh, feel like it, you know, send him a private message on Facebook, anything like that. Cause, you know, little stuff like that really, really helps keep him, you know, motivated and on the right track. So, um, so yeah, man, I think that's about it. Uh, we will check back in with y'all hopefully this weekend probably and uh, we'll see y'all then.